Hello, and welcome to the Paul Kane Debating Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Men's Cross Coach Paul Kane Debating. Coach, uh, you've played three games this season, uh, kind of mixed results, kind of a little bit of a mixed bag, but um, let's talk about how the season's gone for you a little bit so far. Well, you know, it's been a little bit up and down a little bit. I think that we played uh, really well at times, but I think we've also not uh, not been up to the, to the job at times as well. I think that we got some uh, some good kids and are putting ourselves in some situations, but we need to be a little mentally tougher, and we need to play in the fourth quarter a lot better. I think the two games that we've lost, the fourth quarter's really not been our best quarter, and we need to do some better things there. We've been in a position each of those two losses to kind of get back into games, and we kind of found, find a way to make the plays to lose the game instead of make the plays to win the game. But we still like our team, and we still got a lot of great games left, and I think there's a lot of good things on the horizon for us. Yeah, certainly. Um, certainly probably your most complete game of the season was the Denison game. You go out to Denison, obviously a tough place to play, a tough team to, to beat on the road. You're able to go out there and beat them after a quick start. Talk a little bit about that game and how that developed. Well, anytime you get in the bus, I have to travel seven hours to go out to play somebody. It's going to be a, it's going to be a little tough. But it was good to get away a little bit, I think, and get the team together and bond a little bit. So it was well, and we were able to get off to a great start and get on top of them early. And they, I think they kind of was like the opposite of kind of us a little bit, is that they kind of made a lot of plays to help us out yeah. and make it easier on us. And we took advantage of those. Um, but and that's a great team, Dennis, and I think they're going to win a lot of games and then we were able to play well. So we just got to get a little more consistent from game to game. Uh, but it was a good win for us. They got a very talented offense. They had everybody, the top six returners, scores back. We were able to hold down the six goals, and it was good to have Sam Ross back in his first start of the year after sitting out the first game due to an injury. And I think that uh, Sam gives us a big boost there. I think the defense was happy to have him back. Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously this past Saturday you played Gettysburg and kind of a game you fell behind a little bit, but battled back a couple times. Like you said, that fourth quarter kind of did you in a little bit. Yeah, you know, we got kind of behind early. I think this, we just made a lot of fundamental mistakes and kind of gave them some easy goals early, which they were a good team they're going to take yeah. advantage of. And, you know, we got back to 10-7 there, and we had two chances to get to 10-8. You know, it could have been 10-9. And then in the fourth quarter, we kind of just made some silly mistakes here or there. And I think a couple of Sam just kind of missed a few shots that he usually has because yeah. he was just a little frustrated probably. And uh, they got on us. And that's a good team. They're going to win a lot of games yeah. as well in a really tough conference. And so, um, you know, we played three ranked teams all that are now ranked. Ranked in yep. the top, the probably 13 or 14 in the country, and uh, you know we got uh, three more coming or four more coming. So you know yep. we got to get, we got to continue to be ready. Yeah, how do you develop that consistency? Obviously, and again, no time to rest because obviously you got Salisbury this week and the Mustang Class to do that. But how do you continue to try to develop that consistency so you can play a full 60? Well, we got great kids. I think the first thing to know is we got great kids that care, and uh, we have a lot of talent. But they have to find a way to, to start to sacrifice a little bit more. Uh, for themselves in order to help the team out. I think a lot of our guys are trying to help everybody else out instead of just doing your job, which is a great trait to help your teammates out, but we got to start doing our jobs better and start winning our matchups better. And I think if we can start doing that better, especially in the fourth quarter, it's going to give us a chance in all our games. We just got to get better in that fourth quarter, win our matchup, make the plays we need to win and be a little more mentally tougher, and I think things will come. And, you know, we're going to have a lot of great teams that continue to get that ready until we get yeah. in the conference play, and that's why we play the schedule that we do, and, uh, and that's why we like to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you got a stretch of games all coming up at home. I uh, started with Salisbury this Saturday, and then, like I said, the following week, the Mustang Classic. You play uh, Lynchburg and mm-hmm. York, and then you play Tufts the following Tuesday. So, stretch of games all at home that should hopefully help you to continue to develop. Well, we just got to compete. You know what I mean? That's what a chance to do. And we think we got great opportunity against Salisbury. It's a game that we always play them really tough. Yeah. It's always a great game. Uh, you know, you got Lynchburg, which is always a really tough game. So, a lot of these teams are very similar. And then, then on the York, and then Tufts is, you know, going to be an up and down. Thing. They're going to give up a lot of goals, but they're going to probably score a lot of goals. But we're eager to get the, for the challenge. I think that's why you come here to play in great games under the lights and under the best atmosphere on lacrosse yeah. to see what we can do. And that's what we try to do week in and week out. And we're not always as successful as you'd like to be, but we're going to give ourselves a great effort. And I think if we can do a great job through these next four or five games, we can put ourselves in a really good situation. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just talked a little bit about the Mustang Classic. Got a couple new teams this year, five games every day. So talk about the excitement that's around that. You've got Wesley and coming in, a couple other, you know, after they have a couple of really good teams coming in. Yeah, I know you're excited about the five games a day, Greg. So I Absolutely. Know Joe is too. To find so. That, so. Uh, we like to keep you busy, but uh, but we appreciate all the hard work you guys do. But it's, we a chance to add Middlebury and Wesley yeah. in this year was a really good uh, was a really good thing for us. You know, they kind of called and go, we'd love to come here and play and be a part of it. And so we added them. And anytime you add the defending national champ into that, you know, I think it's a good thing. And uh, you know, getting Franklin and Marshall involved this year is yeah. another great team that we're able to get in there. And uh, But it's a great event. And you're going to see a lot of great lacrosse over, you know, 10 hours a day. And I don't think anybody else puts anything on like that or or is willing to do. So I give uh, our school a lot of credit and the security and our AD and all the people in the um, athletic department who do such a great job to put this on. It's not just me out there going, hey, let's play some lax. You know, it's it's everybody that's – and it's a long day. You know, we'll be here for – 15 hours a day over the course, and uh, but it's a great thing for Division Three lacrosse to really put on that and show all the great players that we have in Division Three lacrosse 
uh, inside the cross. They do such a great job every year coming there to help us out to do that. But it really gets to show teams to showcase themselves in a special event. And uh, that's why the teams just like coming back each year because it is a special event. And you come here, games are going on to watch that game and play your game. You only get 20 minutes to warm up. Uh, you know, you get and you're playing. And so it's, it's, you really got to rely on your players a lot more than that necessarily your preparation because the games are so tight and, it, and it's really uh, – tough to go by, but every team's going to be great and every game's going to be a tough one. Yeah, and the back-to-back -back aspect as well is something that, you know, don't, don't see, and especially at a high level of lacrosse like this. Yeah, and I think that really kind of bodes well for Division Three. You know, those D1 guys love it. We need three weeks to get ready for one game, you know, so to speak. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think Division Three is a lot more mentality. It's about the players, yeah. and they want to get out there and they're not afraid to play back-to-back -back or play three games in five days or play two or three times in a week. I think that really bodes well to the Division Three player, and they're willing to go out there. They work just as hard as their D1 brother, brotherland, and I think they just do a great job. You know, this yeah. is why it's no big deal. None of these coaches here are worried about playing back to back. And in the NCAA tournament might come around to that in a few years because we have right. so many people in it now. And it's so much bigger that we have to might start playing back to back. And that's one of the proposals they have coming up. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck. We're looking forward to some fun lacrosse here next few weeks at Mustang Stadium. And we'll chat again soon. Thanks, Greg. Go Stangs. All right, for Paul Cantabene, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabene Show. Go Stangs.